Nine Live Adelaide, brought to you by My Budget. Live the life you want free from money worries. My Budget can make that happen. The Reserve Bank will almost certainly leave interest rates on hold at its monthly meeting tomorrow, but the next move is widely expected to be an increase. And with household debt at a record high, that will leave plenty of people exposed to mortgage stress. So, how to prevent getting into strife? Well, with some budget advice, Tammy Barton from My Budget joins us now. Firstly, Tammy, should people be making some extra payments on their mortgage to perhaps get ahead? If your mortgage is the only interest-bearing debt that you ha that you have, then absolutely any small amount that you can afford to pay will go a long way towards helping you save money on that interest repayment. If we take, for example, a $400,000 mortgage at, say, a 4% interest rate, if you were to pay $50 a week as an extra repayment, then you would save yourself just under $40,000 in interest over the life of that loan and shave off four years of the life of that mortgage, which means you get to be a homeowner uh, four years earlier. Um, if you have high interest debt, like credit cards or store cards, I would suggest paying them on first before you make those extra repayments on your mortgage. Uh, and once you have paid those credit cards off, take that money and pay it towards your mortgage. Um, a great tip, Will, is if you get a pay rise, use that extra money to um, pay down your mortgage because then you don't have to adjust your lifestyle. If you don't see the money, then you won't spend it. A lot of us will adjust our lifestyle to fit our income. And another uh, great one is to use your tax return to pay extra repayments off your mortgage each year and that'll help you save interest over the long run. Yeah, exactly right. Now, the difference for people paying weekly, fortnightly, monthly, mm -hmm. what are the benefits and negatives of, of how you structure that? Well, look, if you pay weekly, fortnightly, monthly, the amount of interest that you save, it's its not a lot, it's its minimal. Um, what's more important is the amount of money that you're paying off of that, uh, off your mortgage each, each week or fortnight or month. What I would suggest though is um, lining up your repayment cycle with your income cycle. So if you get paid weekly, organised to have your mortgage paid weekly because you can imagine if you get paid weekly and you have a monthly mortgage repayment, it gives you sort of about three weeks there where you could be putting money aside for your mortgage, you could accidentally dip into that and you could find yourself in a little bit of hot water. Um, I would suggest shopping around as well, looking to see whether you have the best interest rate because there's ways to save money that way too. Yeah. Now, for people looking to get into the market at the moment, um, should they be perhaps expecting an increase coming up um, and how do you deal with that? What I would suggest there is when you first take that mortgage and you start making your repayments, increase your payments straight away. So set up your mortgage to pay more than what you need to and hopefully enough, if you can afford it, to allow for any interest rate rises that may happen in the future. That way if they do come, you're already covered. If they don't, great. You're paying down your mortgage a lot quicker and, and saving that money in interest. I would also suggest um, for people looking to buy, don't just think about the deposit uh, that you have to save. Think about the repayments and it, not only can you afford them, but how much will you have to adjust your lifestyle to um, make those new repayments? So think about that as well. Yeah, planning ahead sounds like some good advice. Tammy Barton from My Budget, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me, Will.